Hi students, this is Akhila. Let us start with a new chapter, Numerical Differentiation. In the previous class, I have given some definitions on numerical differentiation and uh, some formulas. Here are some formulas. dy by dx, x is equals to x0 is equals to 1 by h, delta y0 minus 1 by 2 delta square y0 plus 1 by 3 delta q y0 minus 1 by 4 delta power 4 y0 plus so on. This is the first formula. To find the first derivative of y is equals to f of x and the second derivative formula is here d square y by dx square x is equals to x0 this is equals to 1 by h square delta square y0 minus delta q y0 plus 11 by 12 delta power 4 y0 minus 5 by 6 delta power 5 y0 plus 137 by 180 delta power 6 y0 so on. The values 11 by 12, 5 by 6, 137 by 180, these are uh, in it is in the given in the formula. The those formulas are derived in the previous classes. So the formula 1 and 2 used to compute the first and second derivative of y is equals to f of x. Uh, let us go through the one some examples or uh, first one example. Uh, let us take a function is specified by the following table. In this table, they are given x values and y values. So here we have to find y dash and y double dash at x, x is equals to 1. So let us go through the solution. Here h is equals to 0 0.05. What is this 0 0.05? In the x values, we are having 1.05 the second value and the first value initial value is 1.00 if you subtract second value to first value so 1.05 minus 1.00 you will be getting 0.005 mm. next 1.10 minus 1.05 if the value again you will be getting 0 0.05 1.15 minus 1.10 you will be getting again 0 0.05 here the interval is constant it never changes in the uh, in the given x values so the here it is constant h is equals to 0 0.05 to compute y dash and y double dash that is first derivative and second derivative we take x naught is equals to 1.00 because x naught is equals to 1.00 means in the x values the initial value is 1.00 and uh, the, this is this is considered as x naught so x naught is equals to 1.00 now let us draw the forward difference table here uh, already haven't drawn it so here it is the table the forward difference table is in the first column we are having in the first column we are having x in the second column y in the third delta y delta square y delta cube y delta power 4 y delta power 5 y delta power 6 y the in the first column the x means whatever given in the uh, question means x values we have to substitute there so x values as it is same as it is 1.00 1.05 1.10 1.15 1.20 1.25 1 1.30 again we have to substitute the given in the table y values same values y values 1.00 1.0247 1.0488 mm, so on uh, we have to whatever given in the table we have to substitute in this table in this table so next how to find delta y in the previous classes we have solved many problems on forward difference table and uh, backward difference table it is the forward difference table so here how to find delta y means in the y here it is y we have to take y function only so here 1.0247 minus 1.00 if you subtract you will be getting 0 0.0247 so same thing 1.0488 minus 1.0247 you will be getting 0 0.0241 First we have to take second value, then we have to subtract in first value. Then only you will be getting the difference value means that is delta y value. Again for delta square y, we have to take 0 0.0241 minus 0 0.0247. You will be getting minus 0 0.0006. Again same thing 0 0.0235 minus 0 0.0241 minus 0 0.0006. For delta q y, uh, same thing, once second value subtract in first first value, minus point triple zero six minus into minus you will be getting plus, it will become point plus point triple zero six. So minus, here it is plus, so it will become zero, here it is minus point triple zero four, this will become plus, minus into minus plus, so plus point triple zero six. Here it is minus 0 0.304. You will be getting, if you subtract these two, you will be getting 0 0.302. 
same thing minus 0 0.005 minus into minus plus you will be getting plus um, 0 0.004 if you subtract these two you will be getting minus 0 0.001 for delta power 4 y 0 0.002 minus 0 if you subtract anything from 0 you will be getting 0 0.002 as it is whatever remains it will be remain same mm. Minus point triple zero one. Here it is minus point triple zero two. You'll be getting minus point triple zero three. Here it is zero point means it is this is full zero only zero plus point triple zero one. You'll be getting zero point triple zero one. For delta power five y minus zero point triple zero three minus it will become minus minus point triple zero two. You'll be getting the value minus zero point triple zero five. Here it is plus value. Again it will become minus into minus plus it will become. So 0 0.003, 0 0.001 will be getting 0 0.004. Same thing for delta power 6 y. 0 0.004 minus into minus plus 0 0.005. 54 it will become 9. 0 0.009. This is the table for forward difference. Uh, and next we have to find that first derivative and second derivative. We are already we know that the formulas those are dy by dx x is equals to x naught is equals to 1 by h so on this is the formula for first derivative so we have to substitute these values in the formula whatever we have taken in the table we have to substitute in the formula dy by dx as it is x is equals to x naught uh, already we are know that x naught value we have taken in the solution x naught is equals to 1.00 the 1.00 can be written as 1 so x is equals to 1 because x naught value is 1 x naught value is 1 we have to substitute there here h value h value means h is equals to 0 0.05 next let us go for uh, delta y naught so if you want delta y naught we have to observe the table whatever we draw on the table we have to see the table and we have to write the values delta y naught here it is delta y but y naught how to find y naught means the initial value is y naught this is y1 this is y2 y3 y4 so delta y naught value is 0 0.0247 here it is minus minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 delta square y naught we want now delta square y naught what is delta square y naught we have to see in the column delta square y in that delta square y naught is initial value y naught minus the value is minus 0 0.006 we have to substitute in delta square y naught value so you will be getting minus 0 0.006 so next plus 1 by 3 so delta q y naught observe the table delta q y naught initial value y naught means initial value in the in that column delta q y naught is 0 so substitute value 0 so next is minus 1 by 4 delta power 4 y naught initial value in the column delta power 4 y it is 0 0.002 so substitute in the formula so next here it is next we will be getting here uh, we have 1 by 4 next term will be 1 by 5 so 1 by 5 into delta power 5 y naught in the delta power 5 y naught uh, column we are having initial value is minus 0 0.005 we have to substitute in the formula so next here it is plus term next you will be getting minus term after 1 by 5 you have to write 1 by 6 so delta power 6 y naught value is 0 0.009 we have to substitute in the formula so next 1 by 0 0.05 you will be getting the value 20 write on this same thing 0 0.0247 minus into minus plus so 2 1s are 2 3s are you will be getting 0 0.003 uh, something is multiplied by 0 it will become the whole term will become 0 minus so point triple zero two divided by 4 you will be getting point four zero five plus into minus minus 5 ones are 5 ones are point triple zero one so here it is minus uh, 0 point triple zero nine divided by 6 the value is 0 point triple zero one five here it is 20 right same thing uh, if you add and subtract these things you will be getting 0 and the remaining value is 0 0.0247 otherwise if you add and subtract whole thing you will be getting the same value 0 0.0247 so this value is the first derivative of the given function or given table so next we have to find second derivative by using the second derivative formula 
so uh, we have to take same the same formula whatever i have given in the um, in the first page so next the formula we have to substitute all the values d square y by dx square x is equals to 1 because x not value we know that x is equals to 1 x not value is 1 so substitute in the place of x not so you will get x is equals to 1 um, they have say they have given in the problem also we have to find that x is equals to 1 only so next 1 by h square what is h value h value it is point 05 in the in the given so point 05 so substitute here h is equal to point 05 whole square so delta square why not what it is delta square why not so go for the second column uh, means a delta square y uh, column delta square y column the initial point is minus point 0006 so substitute here delta square why not value because initial point means why not it is why not means uh, initial value so minus point 0006 Next minus delta q y not again compare with the delta q y not here it is y not or delta y not value it is in the delta q column y not value is zero substitute in the formula uh, you will be getting zero so next term is plus eleven by twelve delta power four y not so delta power four y not value is point triple zero two substitute here point triple zero two minus five by six delta power five y not the delta power five y not value is Minus point triple zero five. Substitute here. Next plus one thirty seven by one eighty. The delta power six y not value is point triple zero nine. Uh, then multiply and uh, calculate each values in this. So one divided by point zero five. Point zero five into point zero five, you will be getting point double zero two five. The one divided by point double zero two five value is four hundred. So next write down this same thing. It is zero term. Leave it. So next, plus eleven by twelve into point triple zero two value is point triple zero one eight three minus into minus plus five by six into point triple zero five. You'll be getting point triple zero four one seven. So plus here it is plus one thirty seven by one eighty into point triple zero nine. You'll be getting the value point triple zero six eight five. Then add and subtract these things, whatever it in the bracket. So you will be getting point triple zero six eight five. That we have to multiply with four hundred. You'll be getting the value point. Two seven four. This value is called the second derivative. Means uh, we have calculated first derivative and second derivative of the given table. Thank you.